If you've ever felt that your proposals are stale and a little bit generic, then stick around after the bumper. We're going to jump into quick and easy ways you can make your proposals stand out in a good way with more visual appeal for your clients and prospects. Thanks for stopping by, folks. My name is James Jenkins, as always, Chief Risk Officer of James Jenkins & Associates. Thanks for watching our video here. Do me a favor if you would, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give a like and share to this video if you find the content useful. Thank you in advance. So we know what the problem is when we deliver a generic PDF from an insurance carrier that looks like just about everybody else's PDF. You know, I was inspired a while back to put some effort into making our content just look a little bit better. So we're gonna hop on the screen share real quick. I'm gonna take you through some stuff in Adobe that we do along with Word and an online uh, graphics and image editor that you can use. It's completely free to make your own stuff. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go on our cover page for our presentation. We've got this nice colorful graphic stuff we designed here. Business insurance proposal, it's specific to the line of business. We have a different one for personal lines and for real estate investors as well. On the second page, we jump into a proposal summary that gives the client or prospect all the relevant information right here on one page, customized with their name and the date of the proposal. On the next page, we jump into a little bit of unique information about our office, what is different about working with us, and our core values, kind of what the client or prospect can expect from working with our team. The whole point of all this is just to be a little bit extra appeal and flavor. So we have the next page for basically CYA purposes, getting a signature and authorizing the information that we've presented in addition to what the carrier uh, suggests just for those kind of of protection purposes for our office. In Texas, where our office is located, broker fees are perfectly acceptable. We do charge them for commercial lines, accounts, as well as some real estate investor stuff uh, based on service load and other factors. If you want to copy our wording here, it is necessary in many states to have the uh, fee acknowledged and, uh, and signed off on. And just make sure you're doing that and be aware of your laws and regulations in your state. So before we get into the uh, graphic design here, I wanted to point out how we can design this part here to make it real easy and fillable. We go into Word and show the um, just a sample here I made for you guys. There's a lot of functionality in Word. You can put obviously text, but also uh, tables and whatnot. And you can go over to Save As and make it an Adobe PDF. It ports directly over to Adobe Acrobat DC, and there's a lot of functionality built into Adobe Acrobat. There are free PDF editor options. I'm a big fan of Adobe, uh, even though it's $15 per user um, for you know, a monthly basis there. Adobe has a lot of functionality baked in, like prepare, prepare forms here, where you can set it up to be fillable and name everything there. It just makes it a lot easier, and you've also got baked in signature stuff with Adobe Sign. You can send it off to the client from right inside the same app. Makes it nice and easy there. So last thing, we're going to go and take a look at uh, Canva, which is a free online graphic design tool, image editor and whatnot. Uh, it is entirely free for the basic version. If you want to pay extra to get some more functionality, if you're doing a lot of stuff like I do, it's definitely worth the 12 bucks a month to have the brand kit and other uh, preset options baked in there as well. So you can do whatever you want to design and use uh, geometric shapes and uploads and text and whatever you want uh, to create that cover page. Um, you can see some uploads that we've done for other things. You know, just basic stuff on social media and promoting stuff um, over the last couple of years. Canva is incredible for what it is. It, it is completely free. It's not quite as powerful as, you know, Photoshop or something like that, but fully capable for what most people watching this video are going to want to do. So that's about it. Uh, for the content there. Thanks so much for watching again. As always, we really appreciate the support on the channel. Go ahead and click subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Like and share this video if you found it useful. And thanks so much for stopping by. Make it a great day, boys and girls. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.